Raphael was fitted with a defibrillator. The device monitored his heart while he played and delivered electric shocks if his heart rate dropped or stopped. He needed it in to be able to go about his normal daily activity, really, uh, not to, to get to the extent of playing very high level football. If you consider the severity of uh, his, his um, ventricular arrhythmia, yes, he needed the ICD in there, but it was also very obvious that with even the ICD in there, if he exposed himself to very vigorous physical activity, uh, his tendencies of even uh, getting into a cardiac arrest, even with the ICD on, was high. So, and that was how come a number of clubs, although he even had an ICD on, were still very hesitant to sign him on uh, to compete for them at that level. He then went to play in Denmark before his heart started causing more and more problems. His contract was ended and the doctors told him again to quit football. I was 100% aware of that, but I also believe that he was here for a reason, for a purpose. And then I couldn't complain because that is what he wanted to do. That's that the decision that was to him, the right thing to, to do. But Raphael did not listen to them and he continued to play. In June 2021, he signed with an Austrian club. Three months later, he collapsed while playing. His contract ended and the doctors told him again that he must quit football. Nedieto du mi en istetu, en inscroi mi ignatia. De shenoi nizet gola, ne nizet det ndesha. Aish ni hero. Po ai kisht in the problem zemreneti. Mi pas, ai more vendimid per te hecha de fibrillatori. This is information we 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 all got and um, we confirmed it from various sources uh, that um, at some point uh, Raphael felt, in fact, he actually made a comment that uh, he felt uncomfortable with it on and uh, was convinced that he could uh, keep working even without uh, this device. Is it possible Raphael could have hidden the removal of the device from Ignatia Club uh, for example, would the device be visible during a regular medical check? It's at this moment very difficult for me to even understand and believe that um, a do doctors actually uh, validated the fact that he can play even without the device. That was quite uh, a very risky thing. I wouldn't blame him uh, as an individual for taking that decision. If you have to do print competition medical, First of all, you will pick the problem he has. And secondly, if there's an ICD there, I mean, you are doing a heart scan, you will definitely see that, okay, there's a device there. If the device is not there, you see the problem. And then you know that this problem obviously needed you to have uh, the ICD. Is it also possible that Raphael disclosed the condition to the club and the device's removal, but then insisted to play um, I mean, does that absolve the club of any responsibility if this was the case, if there was a, a conversation between the two of them on this? It's it, it a possibility, but um, it's up to the club to, 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 to dig further. But that's a possibility, yes, for sure. Yet he, he has the right to decide that I can play without uh, the ICD, but the club also has the right to say that Without the ICD, you are a high risk candidate for sudden cardiac arrest. And because of that, we would not want to give you the platform to play. If it happened and coming out to say the player decided to take upon himself that risk, that does not exonerate the club from being unethical in the sense that uh, you knew it was going to cause harm. So you could have decided not to be a party uh, to that decision.